Over to the vault now. Jess Wirtz is up, a senior from Lebanon, Ohio. We're going to see a lot of those vaults here. Chenko laid out with a full twist. Last year, they upgraded the difficulty value of that vault, raised it to a 10-0. And, and so it, it's a vault of choice. And interestingly, she scored a 10-0 vault a couple years ago at Arizona State University when she was there. Good block. Not quite as high as she could have been, because then she could have really stayed straight and not had to pike down. Wirtz, 9-8-7-5. Here's Ashley Miles of Alabama. Four years on the USA national team. A lot of experience she brings to this team as a freshman, comes in with some international experience. A bronze medal from the World Championships. I'm sure one of the highlights of her elite career. of even more difficulty. Right, whoa, she's like, was I in? They can step on my arm, they just can't go over. And lots of power, lots of potential for this gymnast. Nice double layout. Looked like the landing surprised her just a little bit. Sometimes it comes up and gets you before you know it. Pike double back at the end. She tumbled three passes. She's capable of tumbling four passes, and I'm sure will in the future. Miles uncorks at 9.95. Back to Nebraska on vault. Let's get Rochelle Simpson. Now that's a beautiful vault. And if you can do the vault elegantly, she can. Really stretched body, nice toe point, legs stay completely together and just float it down. Nebraska's doing extremely well here on the vault. Nice high scores, and that was a beautiful twist. Just that hop on the landing. She tried to cover it up, getting those arms up quickly. 9-9-2-5 for Simpson. Now here is Katie McAvoy from Penn State, a 5-1 senior from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Very nice mount. Round up layout up to the beam. You know one thing, she's an outstanding performer on vault. First or second six times this year. So far, Penn State has had pretty decent scores here on Balance Beam, ranging from 9.625 up to 9.725. Of course, the top teams here are scoring in the 9.899 range, so they're a little bit off pace, but doing their job. Some of you might think this is distracting, having the teammates yell, because we're so used to hearing being very, very silent. This is something not only do they grow accustomed to, they really like it. The team support, it really is all about team. They very seldom care about their own personal scores or personal placing in the events or the all-around, but really focus on the team effort. Good job. All right, Katie McAvoy. And she gets high fives and a 9.85. The standings after five complete, Nebraska and Penn State have finished. But if you look at Georgia in third place, the Gym Dogs still have the best per event average, and they can win it in the final round. Sixth and final rotation, Nebraska and Penn State are done. The four teams and their apparatus.
Here we go. Uneven bars, Georgia. Jamie Ackerman is up. Oh, no. She oh, and she's in trouble. She went the wrong way after the pirouettes and had to oh. fail. This meet looks like it's coming down to Georgia, Georgia, Florida. And uh, I would have said Georgia could easily pull past Nebraska on this event. They needed roughly to average 9.7, mm -hmm. 9.7, better than 9.72. But you can't do it with falls. So put a little bit of pressure on. They need some big scores after this. And once again, Nebraska has completed its six rotations on the bye now, just waiting. Keep in mind, Jamie's a freshman, so she's new to this kind of competition. It's a different kind of pressure. And when she'll get used to a beautiful double layout, very nice straight body. We have a 9-8 and a 9-8-2-5 going into this, so they're still okay. They can drop this score, but they can't let up after this. And Ackerman gets consolation for her 9.0. Amanda Stroud ready to go. A five-foot freshman from Blue Springs, Missouri. So the Gators on floor. Their final discipline. Let's see if she can hit. Florida needs to average high nine eights, low nine nines, Whoop. and out of bounds. Cost her a ten. Amanda was a three-year member of the national team. Twelve at the 2000 Olympic Trials. Very fun, James. She's full strength, really taking care of the ankles. Which is the smart thing to do at this point in the season. They don't absolutely have to have that difficulty right now. They're still scoring very well. Florida Gators having an outstanding meet here at the Super Six. Big change in their program. Coach Rhonda Fain came in and said, you know, there's going to be a change in philosophy and in the level of work that we put in, and they were all open to it. Wanted to work harder, wanted to have more success in competition. And I think we're seeing it pay off. Florida Stroud gets a 9.7 for the Gators. Pressure now squarely on the shoulders of five foot five inch sophomore Kinsey Rowe, Georgia. A lot of pressure here. As a coach, this is when you're glad you have a veteran coming up after the freshman had a mistake. Nice hop to Eagles. What you need to see. Pull it back on track. She was also the first gymnast ever to be asked into the honors program at Alabama. Quite distinguished. Earned a 4.0 at least a couple times. So excellent student to boot. Suzanne Yachlin, Doug McAvin, Jay Clark, Julie Ballard Clark, the coaching staff. Judges are looking for big release moves. This is a nice eagle giant. She hopped to that position. You really want to see him right up on top of the bar on the handstand when they appear what she was a little bit over there. And a nice 
nice variety of difficulty. Missed her entire freshman season after torn ACL. Red shirt, came back, won the Super Six, and then was injured again. So she's really fought to come back to this point and help her team. Kenzie Rowe, a 9-9-2-5.